Figured it's time to do a 2024 season setup video. Detailing the equipment that I use every day during the primary season. Talking a little bit about them. Few things aren't gonna be pictured here, but this is what I mostly take. Start with the truck. It's an 88 Chevy 2500. Light duty, light duty 2500, meaning it's got six lugs. I have it badged as a 1500 HD though, just because I enjoy that more than, than uh, having the 2500 badges. Plus they have these 1500 HD in red and black, which is the theme of the truck. They don't make those in 2500 emblems for this model era. I've got the uh, Mow and Go Systems ramp on the back here uh, from Dale Otero. You can purchase that off of his website. He's over in Florida. Very well made product. I've been using it now for five years. This will be my fifth year using it and I love it. It's held up amazing. I've got the uh, BR800X here as my main blower. It's uh, secured here with the equipment defender rack. I highly recommend this, uh, this uh, security rack if you're looking to get one. It's very well made. Got one gas can on here we keep. Interior is a little bit messy, but I got general tools that I keep in here. <clears throat> on to the uh, mowers. We got the Xmark Vantage 48 here. This one is known as Professor Moriarty because of the M there. I have no idea what the M actually stands for when I bought it from the guy, but the first thing I could think of was Moriarty. So Professor Moriarty, it's a 48 inch Grants or 48 inch uh, X Mark Vantage. It's a 2016. When I bought it, it had 400 and so hours on it. It's got uh, 589 on it currently. Very well-made machine. This is my main mower. I love it. I love the fact that these springs can be adjusted almost all the way up here. When you when you buy them from the factory, they're like right here, but you can adjust this all the way up. What that does is make it to where that lever to lift and lower the deck is like ridiculously easy to lift. I love that. I also love the fold-up platform on this style of machine to where you can walk behind it as a walk behind. You don't have to be kind of behind the, on some of the other mowers that have the platform above the wheels, you have to be behind it kind of. This one, you can be all the way up front if you have to walk behind it. Love that about this. This is my main mower. I take it out every day, except for a couple of days. Um, and you know, I use it every day during the season. <clears throat> we got our backup stand on here. This is a Toro Grandstand. It is a 2009 model, which if you know anything about these, it's the very first year this mower was made. As such, it has no springs on the side to adjust. It had, what it had was these shocks that went here and here, little like struts like you would see on a minivan. And uh, I got rid of those and added these springs on the side. They're adjustable and they work a whole lot better. It's not quite as, as easy to lift as the Vantage is, but it's not bad. It's definitely something that's workable. The mowers are functionally the same, as in they're almost 99% the same, but if you look at them, there's di subtle differences in them. For example, the shape of this and the shape here. This mower is a little bit, it's a little bit uh, lower when you're walking behind it than this one. This one's a little bit taller up. Uh, I don't know exactly why that is, but the wheels also, the Vantage has slightly bigger wheels. Not, once again, I'm not sure why. This mower is showing 54 hours. Um, it's, those are not the correct hours. As you can tell, these tires are bald. The, uh, this mower's been through a lot, but I got a really good deal on it and it runs really good for what I need it to. I don't need it to run every day for me. I could if I had to, but I don't use it every day and that's what it's for. As far as my push mowers, I've got the 21 inch X mark here with the Honda engine. I use this one primarily during the leaf season as well as if I have 
a, uh, several yards I need to bag because it's a pretty good bagger. My main 21 inch mower that I use during the season is this Echo 21 inch DLM 2100 SP. It's a 56 volt push mower. It's very lightweight. It weighs about 60 pounds. You can easily move it around. It's bagging and mulching capability and it has a discharge port if you need it. I carry this because I don't do a lot of push mowing, but the yards that I do push mow in the backyards are really small. So this is very handy to get in and out. As we already looked at the BR800, I also have a blower. This is an SH86, technically. It's, it's, I don't have the vacuum hooked up to it right now, but this is a handheld blower. I use this as a backup handheld, but also I have the gutter cleaning kit if I need to clean out gutters. This is what I use for that. <clears throat> the gas powered equipment I run, I've got a steel KM94. I have a lot of steel attachments, so I use the 94 with those. I have a uh, Echo PAS 230. Try to get that. There we go. It's on the front here. I have a PAS 230 here. I picked this up uh, a couple of months ago. This is my newest used tool. I got this because I have a lot of Echo attachments and I needed a gas powered power head in order to use those. And this is going to fulfill that bill. I have these in the truck right now because it's still February. Once it gets to March, the gas powered tools are going off and we're going to put the battery powered tools back on. I have the Echo 56 volt platform is what I've been using. I've got the handheld, ba handheld battery powered blower here. I've got the commercial Pro Series uh, D-Pass 2600 as it's called. I have two of those. One of them set up as my trimmer. One of them set up as my edger. I've got Darwin grips on both of those to help me since I'm using them a lot. I love these trimmers. They're super handy, super lightweight, and they're, they cut great. They got a lot of power. <clears throat> as for my hedge trimmer, uh, my main hedge trimmer is this mid-reach echo attachment here that I use on the D-Pass 2100, which is the uh, pro, or the prosumer as it is, maybe the homeowner grade um, power head for the 56 volt platform. It's not, it's not good enough for edging and trimming. It doesn't do very well for that, but for hedges, it does really good. It's super lightweight, cuts a, cuts a great, cuts a great uh, finish on the hedges and uh, it uh, doesn't take up a lot of space in the truck, which is, which is great. I've got a few more 56 volt tools here. Uh, let's see, I've got the um, the chainsaw, the DCS 5000. It's an 18 inch. It does pretty good for what I need. I'm not, it has some things I don't like about it, but I don't do a lot of heavy chainsaw work. So for me, between this and I also have a DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw somewhere around here. Between those two, I'm good on chainsaws. So you can see I've got hedge trimmer, bed definer, tiller, couple of shafts up there and a couple more echo attachments here like an articulating hedge trimmer and a couple more weed eater weed eater attachments i've also got a backup backpack blower here this is a br700 it's uh it's a really good blower it's not as quite as powerful as the 800 but it does the job definitely does the job really well anything you need i've got a couple of dewalt tools as well um this is the little handheld blower and the little handheld 20 volt <clears throat> hedge trimmer. These are good for, I have a couple little subdivisions where I need to trim up some little round bushes and trim up some small shrubs and this works really good. I can throw it in the back of the other truck here and go. Don't have to get a lot of mess. This is a, uh, my other truck's a 2016 Ram 1500. I uh, use this to pull my trailer that's not pictured here. It's a, my trailer is a Lamar six by 12 single axle. I don't have it pictured here because uh, it's stored at a different location. Uh, there's just not enough room here at my, at my house to put it. So that's what, I, that's what I normally use. Of course, I have DeWalt hand tools, a lot of those. I'm currently in the process of, you know, I, I've done my fence and I'm doing my gate here. So that's why I've got a lot of tools and big debris pile over there. But I think that's all I covered. I don't know if there's anything else I'm, anything else i missed i'm uh, looking to get the echo backpack blower the 60 or the 56 volt 
uh, battery powered backpack blower at some point as, as soon as they come in. My dealer doesn't have any. They're on back order and to be honest, I kind of want to demo it out first and try it just to see if I, it has the power that I need. If it does, we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger. If not, mm, we'll stick with the BR-800. It's not like I need a battery-powered backpack blower. You know, the BR-800 is, is super great. It's great for leaves. It's great for clippings. It's great for everything. It's just one of my favorite blowers. So anyway, yeah, that's my setup for 2024 that I'm going to be running this year. Hope everybody has a great season out there. Looking to get started here in a couple of weeks. And until next time.